All right, welcome to Homie Draws Hands. This might be a little bit long of a video, so bear with me and hopefully we can enjoy it all together. So I did watch some videos before this to get sort of like the out, like the outline of a hand and you'll see me trying to do the boxes. I do a lot of little lines. And so these hands right here are all just me trying to do it on my own, which is why they don't look very good. Also, I, it seems like everyone has issues with hands. This is me just starting with hands. So yeah, doesn't look great. Uh, what you'll see here is a pretty distinct change because I start using references. So you got this hand right here, definitely a reference hand. This one was the first one that I liked the look of, also a reference hand. Um, and I, you know, still like it. Definitely a little jagged. Um, and I've learned, one of the things that I learned was where to shade things and where to do some lines and which lines to do. So and then again, you know, felt like I was cheating with references. So go back. <laughs> I realized that that thumb Nobody draws hands with their thumb. Nobody uses their hands with their thumb uh, in that weird position. So anyway, that was kind of funny. This is back to references. I'll try and post the websites with the references that I used and also some of the videos that I watched that helped me out. So um, again, didn't end up being great with hands coming out of this, but definitely better than I was before and a little more confident um, and also sick of drawing, sick of drawing hands. So, okay. Um, this this those three hands i was okay with i didn't love the look of the pointed one well either of the pointed ones i did not like the look of very much and then i switched colors as i started watching a different video i'll try and add a, a link of that video and then also um maybe a little little tag or something I'm, I'm you know still still new to youtube drawing that hand with the little flourishing hand that was really fun i did not expect the fingers to go in that direction as i was watching the video and it was just i don't know it was interesting it was fun i i uh, you know enjoyed it and got into drawing hands at certain points, but, uh, you know, ready to do something different. Um, and ultimately probably most of my hands will just be like holding swords and stuff. So, well, maybe we'll see if I can find, do, do something a little more interesting, but you'll see me go back to that, um, not fist shape exactly, but the holding something shape. So, uh, more references. Again, I changed colors. I, I uh, when I'm doing something new or trying a different Thing, I changed colors or when I just got bored of the last one or, or doing a new page so I liked drawing these uh, sort of thicker hands it was a different you know trying to do a little bit different of a look um, and this hand it started out a reference holding a ring but then I you know got distracted did something else um, and uh, forgot that it was holding a ring ended up doing this open hand and it was uh, mostly not a reference so um, good good learning experience and a, a lot of looking at my own hand for that one I um, enjoyed, enjoyed these ones, nothing super new, more reference ones. It was like, again, you, I mean, if you check out the link that I, that I uh, apply, you'll see it's like um, you just click next one once you're done drawing and, and then do another reference. So very convenient for learning how to draw hands. It does get a bit repetitive. I did I saw a few of them uh, you know, multiple times, um, but yeah. This one up here, I liked after I, I changed the shading a little bit, I used like a, a smudging feature. Um, I thought it looked a little bit better. Otherwise, people people were like, what's going on with the shading? Or I was with some kids. And then I go back to that, you know, trying to hold something shape right there, uh, which you'll see a few more times because ultimately, probably what I'll be using a lot of, though I, I will probably be, be covering hands with gloves, <laughs> um, which cuts out some of the detail. Uh, so. Yeah, we'll see what my future drawings hold. Back to references, nothing super special here. Fun, you know, using different colors. Uh, though I did use the same as the Procreate pencil. And then I really enjoyed doing these ones where there's some like depth, you're trying to present some depth, the hand going sort of into the page, sitting on the table. Um, and then this one right here as well, where like you only see the three fingers, you got some shading. I don't know, it's just, a little more fun, a little more interesting for me. I mean, I especially like the shading uh, as the hand turns into like the forearm um, when they have some more interesting one. There's ones, this one later, oh, right here. So I was, I was gonna get a board uh, doing a lot of hands. So I started doing a, just setting a timer for a minute and seeing how much I could get done in a minute and then adding details for like a minute or two, but really trying to go a little faster and not spend as much time on every hand. So got some rough hands there. And some of it ended up being okay. This hand's still a little rough, but a little better than, than some of the previous ones with that fast paced thing. And then this one I actually liked quite a bit. And I don't think I spent too much time on it. So uh, that was satisfying for me. Um, this one is another 
well, I think that was holding something, but I didn't draw what it was holding. Um, and then I really liked this fist. Again, I did some shading on the forearm, and I don't know, I just, I, I like it in the thumb, the shading on the thumb, so it's just something I, I had fun with. One of those thicker hands, again, that was holding sort of like a pole or something, but I didn't draw, so I had to sort of, I don't know, uh, imagine what some of the fingers look like, which I think is good practice. Um, stopped using references for a few hands here. Um, the fingers always just look weird when I stop using references. Uh, I think I got a little bit better later on at getting the pinky to be the right size. Maybe, I don't know, I, I'm not going to say that definitively. I, I think in my brain I have a little bit better of an idea. And um, maybe keeping the tips of the fingers a little bit thicker. My fingers really don't taper off too much, so I don't know why I do it so much in the drawings. Um, I think it's one of those things as a kid, in my brain, I just got it that the tops of fingers are significantly thinner than the bottoms. I mean, it may be true for kids. You know, maybe go, go back and measure some, some of my nieces and nephews' fingers and see what's going on there. Uh, probably not, though. I'm guessing that's not true. This looks like... Oh, I think I was referencing my hand, my like my own hand here, because um, it looks a little more... Uh, referenced and uh, but I but I don't think I don't think I'm not totally sure about that at least for one of those um, okay I think we're going back this way because it's going to change sheets oh that didn't that's not a great transition it's just totally cutting out um, probably won't go back and fix it <laughs> sorry guys um, still learning how to do these and uh, I think the way that I set this up there there are I'm using LumaFusion, which is an iPad app, and uh, this keyframing is what it's called, I think, um, for these, like, these zooming in and out and panning and stuff. Still trying to figure that out, and it also just might not have all the features uh, on LumaFusion right now, so. Um, but I got most of it. Uh, these ones are fun. I started using some of that cross shading. I saw it in one of the references that I used. And I was like, oh, interesting. I will use that. This hand, I was actually happy with how it turned out. It's not like amazing or something, but I redid the thumb a few times and I thought it ended out okay, you know. It was uh, much less bad than, than it originally was. And I think I referenced my own hand for that one as well. Not that it looks like my hand, just that I referenced my hand. Huh, maybe it does. Um, and then, yeah, I watched another video for these ones where it sort of talked about like the four parts of the hand, or I think at four, three or four of that palm. Um, so I started to try and use that as a way of referencing things. So you'll see it here. I don't know that I stuck with it a ton. And then you'll also see me cop out at the end of filling out this sheet. Um, I got, I was just getting tired of trying to do realistic hands. So what I ended up doing uh, is a bunch of cartoon hands. You'll see it goes very fast, uh, but I did do a hundred hands. So it does count and hands are deceptively difficult to actually make look good. Um, I don't think this was a reference. Uh, the pinky, one thing is just interesting is that the pinky does shoot off a little bit and in, in, you know, more in a different direction than the rest of your fingers. Um, one of the videos I watched, I think referenced that. And so I've been trying to do that and it does look a little better, a little better. So um, then I got some of the lines in the hands, sort of understood what's going on where I paid attention more to my own hand. So not sure about everyone's hands, but that was fun. Uh, so you'll see me doing that a lot more. Um, and I was just trying to do the same hands, trying to repeat them, make it a little better um, instead of trying new things. And then you'll see a few of these. And then here are the cartoon hands, like I mentioned before. Uh, I'm not happy with how they look. I wasn't trying to just go on. I was trying to get better at them, but I did hit 100 hands, and I was like, that's 100 hands, and here's a little 100 hand special for you guys. And on something a little bit, uh, a little bit more fun. Um, so just enjoy. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the time and I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday.